Fire! Fox has some of the best kill options in the entire game, and because of this, it's common for Falco mains to consider switching to Fox for certain matchups. Personally, I think this is misguided. While Fox does have better kill options overall, Falco is still a fantastic character that some would argue has no losing matchups across the entire cast. So, to help out my fellow Falco mains, this video will cover several ways Falco can secure kills across the entire cast, with a particular focus on pesky matchups like Ice Climbers, Peach, or Jigglypuff. I've attached a link to a spreadsheet with specific percents for certain kill options, so I recommend checking that out when you finish the video. Also, it's worth mentioning that the kill setups I'm showing aren't in any order, I'm just listing them, so it's not like one is better than the other. Okay, to start things off, the first option is Down Tilt. It's a fast and lethal kill option that sends your opponent away at a unique 75 degree angle. This means it's a great way to kill off the top on stages with low ceilings, and it'll kill at an earlier percent when you're closer to the edge because of the angle it sends you at. Also, since it kills primarily off the top, this makes it a great option to kill lighter, floatier characters like Jigglypuff, Ice Climbers, Peach, and Pikachu. Down Tilt actually combos off a laser, which makes it much easier to land in neutral because you're already going to be firing several lasers in the first place. Other ways to land it include poking your opponent's shield, especially after shield pressure, and after crouch cancelling your opponent's move. While Down Tilt isn't great at killing heavier characters like Captain Falcon, you can use Down Tilt to set up combos that lead to edge guards or even kills, making it a great way to kill your opponent across pretty much every matchup. Next up we have Up Smash. Falco's Up Smash has a bad reputation for a few reasons. First, it's nothing compared to Fox's Up Smash, which is one of the most powerful kill options in the entire game. On top of this, Up Smash is weaker than Down Tilt and has 9 frames of additional end lag. Still, I think the move is fairly underrated. One huge strength of Up Smash is that it can be used out of shield. While Falco has other great options out of shield, like Shine, Shine doesn't work well against floaties at high percents, and Up Smash out of shield is actually faster than back air out of shield, which is another good kill option. Up Smash also combos out of laser and jab, making it a reasonable move to land in neutral. And against fast fallers, Up Smash can set up for quick kills and edge guard situations, making it versatile across many matchups. While it's far from a one size fits all kill option, it is an option I think many players forget about and give up easy kills in the process. Jab back air is another super safe, low lag kill setup that will knock your opponent into hit stun just close enough for you to connect an aerial. Because of its low lag, it's a great way to deal with characters who like to spend time in the air, like Peach or Jigglypuff, because they don't have crouch cancel to protect them. Jab also combos off laser, so it's even easier to land in neutral. But when is it a bad option? Well, don't use jab back air at low percents, or against fast fallers, or if you suspect your opponent will crouch cancel, especially when ASDI down is still on the table. You can find these percents in the spreadsheet that I attached. Also, like high percent up tilt, it's another option that's best used when you're struggling to kill a floaty and doesn't work well at early percents. Jab will also lead into other aerials like down air or nair, but generally back air is the best choice. Next up we have up tilt. This time I'm going to break it down since up tilt is an amazing move in pretty much every matchup that Falco has, so let's start with up tilt purely as a kill move. While Up Tilt's killing power is significantly weaker than the other moves I've mentioned, it's by far one of the safest, with only 12 frames of end lag. This makes throwing it out significantly less risky, and because it combos off laser, it's not too difficult to land. Up Tilt is great for when you're struggling to kill your opponent and want to take as little risk as possible. If you'd like to know when Up Tilt functions as a kill move, just refer to the spreadsheet that I linked in the description. Up Tilt's real strength lies in its combo potential. Much like Falco's Shine, against floaties, Up Tilt can start pillar combos to help build percent, which you can finish off with Up Tilt Shine to kill your opponent off the top. This can also be achieved with Up Air. Against fast fallers, at low to mid percents, you can Up Tilt into forward smash for an early edge guard scenario. And at high percents, you can up tilt, shine, up B to kill your opponent off the top against fast fallers. This works well on pretty much every stage, but it's especially powerful on stages with low ceilings. Up tilt can also set up for down airs or back airs, which can lead to an edge guard situation or just a flat out kill, so it's pretty much good against the entire cast. However, there are still some situations where up tilt isn't that great. Specifically, it's not good at low percent because of crouch cancel, and at high percent just before it's able to kill against floaties, it's not super great because you can't follow it up. Beyond that, landing an up tilt is basically always a good option. Next up we have Shine. Shine is very similar to up tilt, so as a quick and dirty rule, if you can do it with up tilt, you probably can do it with Shine. The only major difference is that up tilt has more killing power on its own, while as Shine isn't a good move on its own to kill. Most Falco players probably already know that forward smash is a great way to secure a kill, but its 12 frame startup and high end lag make it pretty risky compared to the other options that I've listed. However, there are several ways to combo into F-Smash, many that I've already mentioned, that make it a highly useful kill option to consider. 
F Smash is a fantastic way to finish off your opponent, especially on stages with shorter horizontal blast zones like Yoshi's Story and Fountain of Dreams. F Smash is great at mid percents off of shines or up tilts like you've already seen, and is great at higher percents because it can just straight up kill. Good ways to land an F Smash are wave dashing back F Smash, wave dash out of shield F Smash, you can crouch cancel F Smash on get up attack, you can F Smash off of shine or up tilt, and even wave land onto a platform into F Smash. You can dash attack F smash and you can tech read F smash. If your opponent misses their tech, you can hit them with a laser to reset them and then F smash. You can also laser F smash, but it's super janky and not a true combo. Still worked on Leffen though. In general, the best times to avoid using F smash are at low percent because it won't lead to anything and at high percents because there are other options you can go for that are less laggy and less of a commitment. One of the last kill setups to cover are Falco's grab options. While Fox is known for his up throw up air, Falco's up throw up air is actually still a kill option against certain characters. On top of this, Falco can use up throw down air, which can lead to direct kills on DIN. And he can use up throw to lead into back airs, which will start edgeguard scenarios as well, and sometimes kill. Ultimately, the majority of Falco's moves lead to kills. Dare combos it to itself, Nair sets up for F smash and other hard hitting moves, you can string together up airs into dare, and back air hits like a truck. If you find yourself complaining about Falco's lack of kill options, it's you, not the character, that has a problem. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Micro Melee. There was a lot to cover, so I did my best to make it as concise as possible while still providing useful information. If you liked the video, consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. I'm making new videos every week, so there's lots of great Melee content in the pipeline. Also, I recently started a Patreon to help make this project more sustainable. Working a full-time job on top of producing videos is difficult, so supporting me for as little as a dollar a month really goes a long way in helping me produce more content. That's why I'd like to give shoutouts to Joseph Escobar and Shadow Ninja for supporting my channel. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.